we're launching a global awareness campaign that's going to take place in 20 plus cities around the world. It's a mass meditation in each city. The idea being to fight slavery from the inside out. We have all these concepts inside our brain conditioning that culture, society, religion, parents, teachers, peers put onto us when we're kids, we're just free. And then suddenly we're told, this is what you are. You should speak this language because you have this last name. And it's that's not reflecting who I am as a person. How do you get to tell me what, what I'm supposed to be? So we have these chains inside that no one can see. And that's 7 billion people. Yeah. That's not just 45 million physical slaves. That's 7 billion people that are affected by slavery of the mind. So the idea of our campaign is to to clean up the inside while we're trying to raise awareness about cleaning up the outside. And so it's called the Love Storm Tour. We're going to storm the planet with love. Like, we're going to... F shit up. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, it's really, we're really excited. We're launching it on January 11th, which is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. And then we'll end in Cambodia, um, Los Angeles for the National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. And then end in Cambodia on 10-10-2020, uh, which is Mental World Mental Health Day. So it's kind of full circle, fighting slavery and cleaning up our minds and that kind so of cool. concept. So cool. it's really exciting. Go-to makeup look is a full face of no makeup. <laughs> Love to look bronzy and natural and earth tones and stuff. If I like if I'm on the go and I'm on the plane, I've literally this last two and a half weeks, I've done so many flights where I'm like throwing on makeup and it's concealer and bronzer. And I use the bronzer as eyeshadow, I use it as contour, I use it like, so if whatever I can do to simplify the process, I definitely love that. My go-to fashion look. So I'm, I like to say I have emotional fashion. <laughs> I, depending on how I feel or how I want to feel, I dress accordingly, so the go-to go-to is Lululemons and absolute <laughs> casual. Clearly, I'm like low key. But if I'm if I'm talking about my style, it's you'll see me in leather and spikes. You'll see me in a tutu. Like if I'm feeling feminine and you know girly and want a flowy bohemian vibe. So I don't have any one set one, but it's definitely it's a mood based style for sure. The thing I value most about my career in this industry is that it has created such an incredible platform for me to be able to do something that really means a lot to me, fighting human trafficking and finding my own personal healing through that process. So the catharsis of being an actress and getting emotions out as these other characters is profound between action and cut, but what my career overall has afforded me in this kind of space of advocacy is something I deeply value. Multiple destination vacation locations. Um, Cambodia is my home away from home. And it's actually amazing because the seaside in Cambodia is crystal clear water, white sand, and no tourists because everyone goes to Thailand, which mm -hmm. is a 45 minute flight, and you come to Cambodia and I literally, I had 22 of our alumni survivors of human trafficking who have gone on to become staff. We did an end of year program and we went to the seaside one year and literally I had 22 people with me for Christmas and New Year's spent $2,200 them at a five-star resort. I was like, okay, I can vacation here anytime. So that's my, that's like the overall favorite place. And then my, I love Greece. I absolutely love Greece. I've been to Greece many, many times to the islands and the food, the, the energy, the food, also the food. <laughs> And just That's these awesome. massive Sandorini, just these massive cliffs in Ia dropping off to ocean and black mm -hmm. sand, lava rock sand. Uh, definitely, those are my top two. If I could meet one icon in fashion history, well, I have the pleasure of connecting with Diane von Furstenberg because she has been super supportive of our charity. And she, not just as a fashion designer and, and an icon, but as a human, she's an incredible, 
incredible woman, and she utilizes her platform to elevate style around the world, especially like artisans in Africa. She'll like have the necklaces and stuff. So I really, I, I definitely am stoked that I actually got to connect with her. But someone who I would love to meet. Hmm. I mean, if I could have a time travel option and mm -hmm. go back in time, Marilyn Monroe, oh yeah, by far, would That's be awesome. a style icon who I would be really, really in awe of meeting. That's the best advice I've ever been given was from Somali Mom, the founder of my organization. She said, we thank our enemies, they bring us the greatest lessons. And when I think about my life and the things that have been the biggest teachers, it's moments when I was not, <laughs> we don't learn from happy moments. We, we, we grow and we, you know, they don't call it growing joys. It's growing pains when you're stretching, right? So definitely having gratitude towards people who haven't been that nice to me has, I think, elevated my soul in a much more profound way than the shit talking that's way more fun. <laughs> <laughs>